The twin sons of Tatooine beat down mercilessly as Arium Kiris guided his battered starfighter to a hidden landing spot amidst the jagged cliffs. The ship's engines whined in protest before finally shutting down. Arium wiped the sweat from his brow and looked out at the barren landscape. This planet, with its endless dunes and searing heat, was the last place he wanted to be, but the Force had guided him here, and he had learned to trust its mysterious ways. R8D4, his loyal astromech droid, beeped inquisitively. Arium chuckled softly, the sound almost foreign to his own ears. I know, R8. It's not exactly a vacation spot, but we have a lead. There's supposed to be a hidden enclave of Force-sensitive individuals somewhere out here. If we can find them, we might be able to help them avoid the Empire's grasp. R8 whistled a series of encouraging tones, and Arium patted the droid's dome affectionately. Let's get moving. The sooner we find them, the sooner we can get off this rock. They trekked through the scorching desert, the heat waves distorting the horizon. As they walked, Arium's mind wandered back to the horrors of Order 66. The screams of his fellow Jedi, the betrayal of the clones, and the haunting image of the temple burning. He shook his head, trying to focus on the present. Hours passed, and just as Arium was beginning to think they were on a wild bantha chase, he felt a subtle shift in the Force. We're close, he murmured to R8. The droid beeped in acknowledgement, and they pressed on. Finally, they came upon a hidden cave entrance, concealed by the natural rock formations. Arium's heart raced as he approached. He reached out with the Force, sensing several presences within. Some were faint, untrained, but others held a stronger connection. As they entered the cave, Arium's eyes adjusted to the dim light. He saw a group of ragtag individuals, their eyes wide with fear and curiosity. An older man, Clearly the leader stepped forward. Who are you? He demanded, his voice echoing off the cave walls. Arium took a deep breath. My name is Arium Kyrus. I'm a Jedi Knight. I've come to help. The man studied him for a moment before nodding. We could use all the help we can get. The Empire is closing in on us. Arium felt a surge of hope. Perhaps here, in this desolate place, he could begin to rebuild what was lost. Arium's heart pounded as he stepped deeper into the cave his eyes scanning the faces of the ragtag group before him. Suddenly, a familiar presence in the Force caught his attention. It was strong, steady, and unmistakably familiar. He turned sharply, his breath catching in his throat. From the shadows, a cloaked figure emerged, his face partially hidden under the hood. As he stepped into the dim light, Arium's eyes widened in disbelief. Obi-Wan, he whispered, barely able to contain his shock. The older Jedi pulled back his hood, revealing the weathered face of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Aryam, he greeted, his voice calm and reassuring. It's been a long time. Aryam felt a wave of emotions crash over him. Relief, hope, and a deep sense of camaraderie. I thought, I thought you were gone, he managed to say, his voice thick with emotion. Obi-Wan offered a small, sad smile. I've been in hiding like you, but the Force has brought us together for a reason. The leader of the Enclave, now visibly more relaxed, stepped forward. You know each other? Aryam nodded, still trying to process the miracle before him. Obi-Wan was one of the greatest Jedi Masters. He trained Anakin Skywalker and fought in the Clone Wars. Obi-Wan's eyes darkened at the mention of Anakin, but he quickly composed himself. We don't have much time, he said, turning to the group. The Empire's reach is growing, and we need to be prepared. Aryam stepped forward his resolve strengthening. What can we do? Obi-Wan looked at him, his eyes filled with a mix of determination and sorrow. We need to train these people, teach them to defend themselves, and we need to find a way to strike back at the Empire. The group murmured amongst themselves, a mixture of fear and hope in their eyes. Arium felt a renewed sense of purpose. With Obi-Wan by his side, perhaps they could turn the tide. R8 beeped excitedly, sensing the shift in the atmosphere. Arium placed a hand on the droid's dome. We're not alone anymore, R8, he said softly. Obi-Wan placed a hand on Arium's shoulder. Together we can make a difference. The Jedi may be scattered, but the light of the Force still burns within us. Arium nodded, feeling the weight of his mission but also the strength of his newfound ally. Let's get to work. The group gathered around a small fire in the depths of the cave, the flickering flames casting long shadows on the rocky walls. Obi-Wan's presence had brought a sense of calm and focus to the Enclave, but there was an undercurrent of urgency in his demeanor. 
Arium leaned forward, his eyes fixed on the older Jedi. Obi-Wan, you mentioned a secret mission. What is it? Obi-Wan took a deep breath, his gaze sweeping across the faces of those gathered. I've been in hiding on Tatooine, watching over someone very important. Anakin Skywalker's son, Luke. He is our hope for the future, the one who can bring balance to the Force. Gasps and murmurs rippled through the group. Ariam's mind raced as he processed the information. Anakin's son? But why reveal this now? Obi-Wan's eyes were filled with a mixture of sorrow and determination. The Empire's grip is tightening, and the Inquisitors are relentless in their hunt for Jedi. If they discover Luke, they will stop at nothing to turn him to the dark side or destroy him. We need to ensure his safety and prepare for the day when he can rise against the Empire. Arium nodded, understanding the gravity of the situation. What do you need us to do? Obi-Wan glanced at the Enclave members, his expression resolute. We need to create a diversion, something that will draw the Empire's attention away from Tatooine. If they believe the Jedi are gathering elsewhere, it might buy us enough time to strengthen our defenses and prepare Luke for his destiny. The leader of the Enclave, a grizzled man named Jarek, spoke up. We can help with that. We have contacts on various planets who can spread false information, create chaos, and lead the Empire on a wild chase. Arium felt a surge of hope. We can also train these people, make them ready to fight if necessary. The more prepared we are, the better our chances. Obi-Wan nodded, a glimmer of pride in his eyes. We must be cautious but determined. The path ahead is fraught with danger, but together we can make a difference. R8 beeped in agreement, and Arium smiled at the droid's enthusiasm. We have a lot of work to do, but with the Force as our guide, we won't fail. Obi-Wan placed a hand on Arium's shoulder. May the Force be with us all. Before we continue, if you would like more stories like these, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to get notified about my latest videos. Anyway, on with the video. As the fire crackled softly, casting dancing shadows on the cave walls, Arium and Obi-Wan moved to a quieter corner, their voices low but filled with urgency. The rest of the Enclave continued their discussions, but the two Jedi knew that the fate of Luke, and potentially the galaxy, rested on their shoulders. Obi-Wan, Arium began, what's our best course of action? We need to act quickly before the Empire catches wind of our plans. Obi-Wan nodded, his brow furrowed in thought. First, we must ensure that our communications are secure. We can't risk the Empire intercepting our messages. R8 can help with that, can't you? He glanced at the astromech droid, who beeped affirmatively. Absolutely. I can encrypt our transmissions and monitor any Imperial signals, R8 chirped rolling slightly forward. Good, Arium replied, feeling a surge of confidence. Once we secure our communications, we can reach out to our contacts across the galaxy. We need to spread the word about the false Jedi gathering and create a diversion. Obi-Wan stroked his beard thoughtfully. Yes, but we must also prepare for the possibility that the Empire will retaliate. We should fortify this enclave and train the members to defend themselves. If they sense weakness, they may come here first. Arium's heart raced at the thought of facing the Empire. We could set up watch shifts and establish a perimeter around the cave. If anyone approaches, we'll know. Excellent idea, Obi-Wan said, a hint of approval in his voice. We can also teach them basic combat techniques. Even if they're not trained Jedi, they can still hold their own in a fight. Arium felt a sense of purpose wash over him. I'll lead the training sessions. We can start with lightsaber basics and defensive maneuvers. The more confident they are, the better. Obi-Wan smiled, his eyes shining with pride. And I will work with them on harnessing their connection to the Force. It's important they understand that even the smallest spark can ignite a flame. As they continued to discuss their strategies, a sense of camaraderie blossomed between them. The weight of their past lingered, but in this moment, they were united by a shared goal. Obi-Wan, Arium said, if we succeed in protecting Luke and gathering allies, we might have a chance to bring hope back to the galaxy. Obi-Wan's expression grew serious. Hope is a powerful ally, Arium. We must nurture it, even in the darkest of times. With their plan taking shape, they returned to the group, ready to share their vision and prepare for the trials ahead. As the training sessions commenced in the cave, Arium felt a sense of urgency and purpose fill the air. The Enclave members were eager to learn their spirits lifted by Obi-Wan's presence. However, amid the preparations, 
Arium felt a tug from the force, guiding him toward the back of the cave. Excuse me for a moment, he said to the group, his curiosity piqued. He followed the gentle pull, navigating through the rocky passages, the whispers of the force growing stronger with each step. The narrow tunnel opened up into a larger chamber, dimly lit by the glow of crystals embedded in the walls. As Arium stepped into the room, his breath caught in his throat. Before him lay shelves lined with ancient texts, scrolls, and artifacts, remnants of the Jedi Order long thought lost. Arium approached the nearest shelf, his fingers brushing against the weathered spines of the texts. The titles were written in Arabesh, detailing various aspects of the Force, lightsaber combat, and even philosophies of the Jedi. It was a treasure trove of knowledge, a lifeline to the past. R8, come here, Arium called, excitement bubbling in his chest. The astromech droid whirred into the chamber, its sensors scanning the room. Look at this. These texts could help us train the Enclave and preserve Jedi teachings. R8 beeped enthusiastically, rolling closer to the shelves. Analyzing potential for knowledge acquisition is high, the droid chirped, its head swiveling as it took in the vast collection. Arium carefully pulled a scroll from the shelf, unrolling it to reveal intricate illustrations and detailed instructions on lightsaber techniques. This could be invaluable for our training sessions. If we can pass on this knowledge, we might ignite a new generation of Jedi. Just then, Obi-Wan appeared in the entrance of the chamber, his eyes widening at the sight. Arium, what have you found? A hidden chamber filled with ancient Jedi texts, Arium replied, his voice brimming with excitement. This could change everything for us. Obi-Wan stepped forward, examining the scrolls with reverence. These texts hold the wisdom of the Jedi. We must study them carefully and use this knowledge to guide our training. As they explored the chamber together, Arium felt a profound connection to the past. Each text was a testament to the resilience of the Jedi, a reminder that their legacy could endure even in the darkest of times. With this knowledge, we can build a foundation for the future, Obi-Wan said, his voice steady. But we must proceed with caution. The Empire will not rest while we gather strength. Arium nodded, determination settling within him. We'll safeguard these texts and ensure they are used to protect the light. Together they began to gather the scrolls, ready to bring the teachings of the Jedi back to life. The atmosphere in the hidden chamber was electric with excitement as Ariam and Obi-Wan meticulously examined the ancient texts. The knowledge contained within these scrolls felt like a beacon of hope, a chance to revive the teachings of the Jedi in a galaxy shrouded in darkness. But that hope was abruptly shattered when a distant rumble echoed through the cave, sending a shiver down Ariam's spine. Obi-Wan's expression hardened. Did you hear that? It sounded like a ship landing nearby. Ariam's heart raced as he exchanged a worried glance with Obi-Wan. It could be the Empire. We need to warn the others. They quickly gathered the most important texts, tucking them away for safekeeping. As they exited the chamber, the rumble grew louder now accompanied by the unmistakable sounds of footsteps and voices echoing through the cave system. Quickly, we must move, Obi-Wan urged, his voice low and urgent. They made their way back toward the main area where the Enclave members were training, but as they approached, the voices grew clearer. Search the cave! They must be hiding something! A harsh, commanding voice called out. Arium's stomach dropped. Inquisitors, he whispered, dread pooling in his gut. The Empire had sent its agents to hunt them down. They rushed into the training area, where the Enclave members were still practicing their stances and movements. Everyone, listen! Ariam shouted, his voice cutting through the noise. We're in danger! The Empire's Inquisitors are here! Panic erupted among the group as they scrambled to gather their belongings. Obi-Wan stepped forward, raising a hand to calm them. Stay focused. We can't let fear take hold. We need to prepare to defend ourselves. Arium felt the weight of responsibility pressing down on him. We need to split up. Some of you stay here to protect the techs in the cave, while the rest of us create a diversion. Jarek, the leader of the Enclave, nodded, determination etched on his face. I'll stay with the techs. We'll fortify our defenses. Obi-Wan turned to Arium, his eyes sharp. We need to draw them away from the cave. If we can lure them out, we might buy enough time for everyone to escape. Just then, the sound of heavy footsteps grew louder, 
and the unmistakable hum of lightsabers ignited nearby. Arium's heart raced. The Inquisitors were close. Let's move, Arium shouted, adrenaline surging through him as they prepared for the confrontation. The fate of the Enclave and the ancient knowledge they had uncovered hung in the balance. The air was thick with tension as Ariam and Obi-Wan stood side by side, their lightsabers ignited and ready. The crimson blades of the Inquisitors glowed ominously in the dim cave, casting eerie shadows across the rocky walls. Ariam's heart raced, adrenaline pumping through his veins. This was it, the moment they had both feared and prepared for. From the shadows emerged two Inquisitors, their expressions cold and calculating. One, a tall figure with an angular face, spoke with a voice that dripped with malice. You think you can hide from the Empire, Jedi? Your time is over. Obi-Wan stepped forward, his demeanor calm yet fierce. We will not let you take what remains of the Jedi. You will find us more than a match. Ariam felt the weight of his own resolve. Together we can stop you, he declared, gripping his lightsaber tightly. Without warning, the Inquisitors lunged forward their red blades slicing through the air. Aryam and Obi-Wan moved in perfect harmony, blocking and parrying the onslaught. The sound of clashing sabers echoed through the cave, a symphony of combat that resonated with the very essence of the Force. Aryam focused, channeling his connection to the Force as he engaged the taller Inquisitor. Their blades met, and he felt the dark energy radiating from his opponent. You won't win! Arium grunted as he pushed back against the Inquisitor's relentless assault. The Inquisitor sneered. You underestimate the power of the dark side, Jedi. Obi-Wan, meanwhile, was locked in combat with the second Inquisitor, a woman with piercing eyes and a fierce determination. Their blades danced in a deadly rhythm, each movement a testament to their training and skill. You are a fool to think you can extinguish the light, Obi-Wan countered his voice steady despite the intensity of the fight. Arium could feel the pressure mounting as the fight wore on. The Inquisitors were strong, but he and Obi-Wan were fueled by hope and the memories of their fallen comrades. With a surge of energy, Arium pushed forward, attempting to gain the upper hand. He summoned the Force, channeling it into a powerful strike that sent the Inquisitor stumbling back. But the battle was far from over. The second Inquisitor, seeing her partner falter, unleashed a flurry of strikes at Obi-Wan, forcing him to defend himself with all his might. Aryam glanced at Obi-Wan, their eyes locking for a brief moment, a silent understanding passing between them. Now! Aryam shouted, and they both launched into a coordinated attack. With a series of swift movements, they pushed the Inquisitors back, their blades glowing with determination. As the fight raged, Aryam felt the presence of the Force surrounding him, guiding his movements. He was not just fighting for himself, he was fighting for the legacy of the Jedi, for the hope of a new generation. With one final, powerful strike, Arium disarmed the tall Inquisitor, sending his lightsaber clattering to the ground. Obi-Wan seized the moment, using the Force to push the woman back, her balance disrupted. But just as victory seemed within reach, the cave trembled, and the sound of reinforcements echoed from deeper within. The Inquisitors exchanged a glance of desperation knowing they were outmatched but unwilling to yield. Retreat, the tall Inquisitor commanded, and in a flash they both vanished into a swirl of dark energy, leaving only the echoes of their presence behind. Breathing heavily, Aryam and Obi-Wan exchanged glances, the adrenaline still coursing through them. We must prepare, Obi-Wan urged, his voice steady despite the chaos. They will return with more forces. Aryam nodded, his heart still racing. We have to protect the Enclave and the Tex. We can't let them fall into the Empire's hands. As the tension in the cave began to settle, Arium and Obi-Wan gathered the Enclave members to discuss their next move. The remnants of the confrontation with the Inquisitors still hung in the air, a reminder of the danger they faced. We can't stay here, Obi-Wan said, his voice firm. The Inquisitors will return, and we need to protect the knowledge we've uncovered. We must relocate to a planet far from here, somewhere the Empire won't think to look. Arium nodded, feeling the weight of responsibility on his shoulders. Where do you suggest we go? We need a safe haven, but also a place where we can continue our training. Before Obi-Wan could respond, the air in the cave shifted, a dark presence creeping into the space. Arium's instincts flared, and he instinctively reached for his lightsaber. 
The group fell silent, eyes darting around as they sensed the impending threat. Suddenly a figure emerged from the shadows, a tall, imposing figure clad in black robes, his face partially obscured by a hood. In his hand, he wielded a lightsaber that resembled a katana, its sleek design contrasting sharply with the standard lightsabers of the Jedi. The blade hummed ominously, a dark energy radiating from it. Arium felt a chill run down his spine. Who are you? he demanded, stepping protectively in front of the Enclave members. The figure lowered his hood, revealing a face marked by scars and a fierce intensity. I am Darth Kale, a former Sith Lord, but I am not here to fight you, Jedi. Obi-Wan narrowed his eyes, assessing the situation. Why should we trust you? Your kind has caused enough suffering. Darth Kale's expression softened slightly. I have turned away from the dark side. The Empire's tyranny threatens us all, and I seek to bring balance back to the Force. I have come to aid you against the Inquisitors. Aryam exchanged a glance with Obi-Wan, uncertainty swirling in his mind. Why now? What do you gain from this? I seek redemption, Kyle replied, his voice steady. I have seen the devastation wrought by the Empire, and I cannot stand by any longer. I offer my strength to fight alongside you. Obi-Wan hesitated, weighing the risks. If you truly wish to help, then prove it. The Inquisitors will not stop until they find us. A sudden tremor shook the cave, and the sound of approaching footsteps echoed ominously. The Inquisitors were regrouping, their dark intentions clear. Very well, Obi-Wan said, turning to the Enclave. Prepare yourselves. We will need every ally we can muster. Arium felt a surge of determination as he faced Kale. If you fight with us, we stand a better chance. But know this, if you betray us, I won't hesitate to stop you. Kyle nodded, a flicker of respect in his eyes. Understood. As the Inquisitors closed in, the unlikely trio, Arium, Obi-Wan, and Darth Kale, stood ready to defend the Enclave. The flickering lights of their sabers illuminated the darkness as they prepared to face the impending onslaught. Together we will show them the strength of the light, Obi-Wan declared, his voice steady. With a shared resolve, they awaited the clash of fate, ready to fight for their lives and the future of the Jedi. As the Inquisitors stormed into the cave, the air crackled with tension. Obi-Wan and Darth Kale, now united in purpose, stood firm their lightsabers ignited and ready to confront the dark agents of the Empire. The Enclave members, hearts pounding with fear and hope, prepared to follow their lead. Stay behind us, Obi-Wan commanded, his voice steady as he focused on the incoming threat. Kyle nodded, his katana-like lightsaber gleaming ominously, a testament to his past but now a weapon for the light. The Inquisitors advanced down, their red blades slicing through the air. With a fierce battle cry, Obi-Wan and Kale charged forward, engaging the enemy with a ferocity born from desperation. The clash of lightsabers echoed through the cave, a chaotic symphony of light and dark. Arium watched from the sidelines, his heart racing. He felt the weight of responsibility pressing down on him. The Enclave was counting on him to lead their escape. We have to go now, he urged the others, his voice cutting through the noise of battle. With a mixture of fear and determination, the Enclave members nodded, quickly gathering their belongings. They moved stealthily through the cave, guided by Arium's steady hand. He glanced back at the fierce duel, feeling a pang of anxiety for Obi-Wan and Kyle. But he knew they had to trust in their strength. As they reached the exit, a sudden explosion reverberated through the cave, dust and debris raining down around them. Hurry, Arium shouted, pushing the last of the Enclave members through the narrow passageway. Once outside, they rushed toward the starfighter hidden among the rocks. Arium quickly initiated the launch sequence, his fingers flying over the controls. The engines roared to life, and he felt a surge of hope as they prepared for takeoff. Inside the cave, the battle raged on. Obi-Wan and Kale fought valiantly, their movements fluid and precise. With each strike, they pushed back against the Inquisitors, their resolve unyielding. Finally, as the last Enclave member boarded the ship, Arium took one last glance back at the cave. May the Force be with them, he whispered before sealing the hatch. The starfighter shot into the sky, breaking free of Tatooine's atmosphere. Arium engaged the hyperdrive, and in an instant, they were enveloped by the swirling colors of hyperspace. 
As they traveled through the vastness of the galaxy, Arium felt a renewed sense of purpose wash over him. They had escaped, but the fight was far from over. The Empire's grip on the galaxy was still strong, but now with the knowledge of the ancient Jedi texts and the alliance forged with Kyle, there was hope. Arium turned to the Enclave members, their faces a mix of fear and determination. We will find a new home, a place where we can train and grow stronger. Together we will restore the Republic and the Jedi Order. With the stars stretching out before them, Arium looked forward to the future, his heart filled with hope. The journey ahead would be fraught with challenges, but he knew they would face them together, united by the light of the Force. And so, the story of the Lone Jedi continued, a tale of resilience, hope, and the enduring spirit of the Jedi. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to gently press the like on this video. And if you want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe and ring that bell so you get notified about our latest videos. Anyway, thank you for watching. God bless, stay safe, and have a great day.